Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Junaid and I'm a senior data analyst working in the UK. In today's video, I'm going to take you along with me on a day in my life as a senior data analyst. I recently got promoted to senior data analyst and I've made a bunch of videos about my whole journey, how I got there, how I became a senior data analyst in two years. And if you're interested in those, I'll link some of those down in the description below. Life has changed quite a bit since I went from junior to senior data analyst. If you find this video useful and entertaining, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. So today I was working from home, which is nice because in my previous job, I had to be in the office quite a lot. And it's definitely nice to be a senior analyst where I can take control of my time a little bit more. I'll wake up at 7.30 a.m. because my hours are slightly earlier than usual. I'll need to log in around about 8 a.m. I'll get ready, boot up my desktop and go and make myself a coffee and Weetabix for breakfast. Today's task was mostly going to be about running data into a refreshable Excel spreadsheet and working on the SQL coding behind that refreshable spreadsheet. I'd need to join and filter multiple tables from the company's schema and limit the output based on specific filters. Now that's all within SQL and I was given a pretty rude awakening regarding my SQL skills in my first week as a senior data analyst. And I made a whole video about how I almost got fired in my first week as a senior data analyst because I didn't know SQL well enough. And I'll link that video up here and down in the description below as well. But because the new firm's schema is so damn complicated, I had to work through each step, map out the requirements. The output was for the operations team. And one of the deliverables was that it couldn't be a copy and paste job. It had to be refreshed automatically. And so I'd create a stored procedure before connecting the data into Excel. And then finally, with the output in Excel, I'd do some conditional formatting to show specified date ranges and essentially different due dates. So I started off the morning by going through my inbox, answering any emails I had outstanding, and then I joined the morning team meeting. The team in this new firm is quite small and they're based all over the UK. So they're highly, highly specialized at working with their specific set of skills and client accounts. In that meeting, I went through everything I'd done during the week and what my plan was to tackle the operations report that I was working on. Once that meeting was over, I started defining some of the end user requirements and started going through all the tables and databases that I'd have to join to make a coherent query. When I'm working with anything algorithmic or mathematic or relational, I, I'm a visual learner. So when I'm doing something like this, I like to visualize what tables I'm joining where, what columns I'm joining where, which type of join I'm using in a left, which type of join I'm using and where exactly it's joining. It helps me to be able to see the links in my head rather than just working with the technical inputs. I spent most of the morning working on a draft query and around about 11 a.m. I had another recurring report that I'd done the back end work for in the previous week which was something I was updating every week. So I went about updating that. Since I'm still fairly new, I'm still getting training modules coming in on an online training platform. So I'll spend about 45 minutes on one of the training modules that were assigned to me. That recurring report was also through SQL, but some of the inputs were changing quite continuously. And so I had to manually update that every week. Around 12.30, I logged off to go and have lunch. What's changed as a senior data analyst? There's a lot that's changed ever since I've become a senior data analyst. And I made an entire video about that. But in short, it's a lot less about someone else telling me to do something. And instead, I'll just get an email from a client or a team member within the organization or tracked into a meeting. And they'll say, can we have this, 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 this? And I'll sort of have to go figure it out by myself. Whereas a junior data analyst, maybe a senior data analyst would come and say, Janine, I'm working on this project. Can you do this part of this project? And I'll work on the rest and then we can collect together and then I'll deliver to the client. Now it's me who's having to map out everything, plan out everything from defining requirements, doing the analysis, delivering to clients. I'm having to figure that all out by myself. I'm also being pulled into more strategic discussions and conversations. For example, there's a financial reporting overhaul the firm is looking to make, which is largely internal. It's nothing to do with external reporting to companies house, but internal. And there was a discussion last week about how I'd be able to maybe leverage my financial background and maybe plug in and help with that overhaul. There's also a lot more accountability when you're a senior data analyst, when things go wrong, because now you're the one who's responsible for signing off on projects and delivering them and project managing them and so on. A career tip if you want to become a senior data analyst and get promoted quickly is to stop focusing on the technical skills. At interview stage, the thing that separates senior data analysts versus data analysts is the ability to explain complex analysis in simple, actionable language that stakeholders 
can understand. That's literally the difference between an analyst and a senior analyst. It's not just running SQL, but it's telling a story that executives can rely on and actually use. In the afternoon, going back to my day, after lunch, I spent most of the day debugging my SQL code since the code I'd written was throwing up errors. Actually, some of the column names which I'd aliased were calling on the wrong databases because I'm still getting used to the schema. So to try and help me with that, I pulled in a data dictionary that denotes those relationships between different tables and columns and use that to try and help rectify parts of my query. There was also a column name that was in multiple tables within one of the databases and the one I'd written into my query this morning was throwing up a conversion error, I think from nvarchar to data type int. So I had to go back and look at which table I was actually looking for to find the correct one to use. Now, once that query all looked good, I ran it and it ran perfectly fine. The output looked good to me. The filters were working. So I went ahead and started doing some cross checking and due diligence, making sure nothing was showing up as null because that was one of the deliverables, making sure only the filtered data was showing and that I was seeing a complete data set. Once that was all squared away, I made sure to prep for tomorrow which is when I'd be creating the stored procedure, connecting to Excel and then working on that conditional formatting to visually show different due dates within the refreshable spreadsheet for the operations team. I'll have a follow up meeting with my manager towards the end of the day, quickly ran through my basic code with them. And lo and behold, I got a slight update from them asking for a slight refinement to my code. So I'll note that down and look to get started on that first thing tomorrow morning. Once that meeting was complete, I'll send some progress update emails to the stakeholders and I'll log off around about 4.30 p.m. This SQL query was fairly long-winded and complicated, so it ended up taking most of my day. Now, if you watch my video about how I almost got fired in my first week as a senior data analyst, you'll know why it took me so long to write that query because the schema for this new company is so, so complicated. More complicated than anything I've ever seen or worked on before. This happened to be one of the days where I was doing a lot of the let's say grunt work of actually coding and debugging and looking into data and directly querying data. So there you have it, taking you along with me on a day in my life as a senior data analyst, relearning the technical language for SQL, working through that query, debugging, and also taking the opportunity to refresh myself on some of the SQL some of the more complicated parts of SQL. If this video is useful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can book in time with me if you want a resume review, if you want interview practice, if you want to get your first job within data, anything you might need help on, I'll leave a link down below where you can book in time for that. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.